Hi everybody, how are you going? If we haven't met yet, my name is Brooklyn and it is so nice to see you. It's lovely here, it's Monday night, it's half past five and I'm just getting ready to go home. But it's been a full day of beautiful clients and uh, now is the first opportunity that I've had to do my video. So I'm just going to please bear with me for one second while I um, pop on it page here we go and today what we're going to be talking about is um, of course business alignment but something that's very important in that and that is um, this whole idea of digging the ditch and if you haven't heard of digging the ditch then you are either going to love it or hate it, but hopefully you're going to love it. It's something that took me a little bit of time to get my head around too. Um, so there we go, that's all shared now, nice and good. So the reason that digging a ditch is so important in your business is because it really does harness what we're trying to do here by linking together the mind, the business and the spirit because digging the ditch kind of requires a little bit of a leap of faith. If you're not digging ditches in your business, and I'll explain what that is in a moment, then it's very possible that you could be missing out on some opportunities to grow your business, scale your business, meet beautiful clients or even call in really beautiful new ones. So it's really important there's some uh, benefits and there's also some disadvantages if you don't have it. So what am I talking about? Well, digging the ditch refers to something that was actually spoken about um, a long, long time ago and you can see this in a number of sacred texts. And one of them, um, in case you're interested, is actually the Bible, where the three wise men are in the desert and they run out of water and they're asking for water. And this is where the saying dig in the ditch comes from. And the whole idea is this idea that you need to prepare for the things that you want in order for them to come. It's this whole idea of manifesting in your business. And we do this through preparation. So for example, um, you know, I've got some workshops coming up in Los Angeles in uh, mid-August. So my way of digging the ditch for that is to prepare for it before I've even started marketing. I haven't started marketing yet. Um, but I'm digging the ditch by I've bought the plane tickets, I've booked the accommodation. Um, do you know what I mean? So it's going to happen. I'm going over there regardless. And so now it's just a matter of bringing all my business activity into alignment so that I can actually um, serve the people who need my help while I'm over there. Um, the workshops are very important to me. It's what I do. I live to teach people the knowledge that I'm acquiring through my own studies and courses and trying to distill that down so it's something that they'll be able to make use of as well. So this is the idea. Another example of digging the ditch is also um, when I wanted to do my in-person workshop. So I hadn't done that before. I thought I'm going to take my group and I'm going to try and um, step offline, into the offline space. Let's just imagine with all the Facebook changes one day, Facebook was going to say, okay, we're cancelling all businesses. From now on, we're not allowing any businesses to operate. If I think about that, what's going to happen to my business? I have to think, okay, I can take it into the offline space. So what I did was I dug a ditch for myself and I said, right, I'm going to run some workshops and they're going to be um, in Brisbane, for example. And then what I did was I just I booked my ticket and I booked the venue and then it started filling up. So... When we talk about digging a ditch in business, when we're talking about um, manifesting or when we're talking about spirituality, what we're really saying here is we want to convey to the universe that this is a done deal, it's already happening, we just need the universe to perhaps try and reorganise things for us in order to manifest this thing that we're wanting. And manifest just means bringing, making it happen. Um, bringing something into the reality. There's no magic or anything like that. It's really, as you know, 80% mindset. Um, so that's digging the ditch. And I think there are lots of times that people get very afraid to dig ditches because they think to themselves, oh, but Brooklyn, what if I say I'm going to run a workshop and I book my ticket and I book my accommodation and then I don't sell any seats? Well, I think that 
um, there might be other things going on there, like maybe your mindset. If you don't believe that you're going to sell the seats, if you don't believe your workshop's good enough, if you don't believe you're good enough, if you don't believe you're going to give the value, if you don't believe that they're going to feel that you got the value um, and things like that, then they will come across energetically in how you're marketing your business, in how you're communicating with clients in how you're communicating with people online and offline and then guess what you'll make that your reality in psychology we call this a self-fulfilling prophecy um, and it's got lots of other names in lots of different um, uh, you know paradigms as well but yeah um, for the sake of where my background is, we would call that a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you don't believe something's going to happen, you can have all the systems and all the processes in the world that still won't happen. We see it all the time. People pay thousands of dollars to coaches or mentors to get a system or a process in place so that they can get more clients or have greater profitability in their business. They get the systems, the coaches deliver, they get the systems, they get the processes, but guess what? They're still not getting the sales. They're still not calling in the right clients. There's still issues. The problem's still not solved. And most of the time, it's not because of the system or the process, it's because of mindset. So why don't you have a go at digging a ditch for yourself with something small and just flex your muscle around this idea so that you can experience the concept and just see what it's like to um, want something, to desire something, and then to prepare for it as if it's happening. And then just see what happens. And don't put a time limit on it. Don't say, oh, by 5 o'clock tomorrow or anything like that. Because, you know, there's this whole idea about things happening when the time's right. So just have a play around, try with something small, and then go from there. So I want to say thank you so much for watching this video today. I'm trying to keep them really short, but sometimes I do ramble. Um, what we've spoken about is the importance of um, digging a ditch for you in your business for all of the right reasons, in all of the right ways. We've spoken about the advantages of having it, and the benefits of having it, what can happen if you don't dig your ditch um, in a spiritual way. And we've given some real life examples of when you can use it and it actually works. If you want more information, let me know. Hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. Send me a private message if you like. And by the way, if you're not already in it, you're missing out because I have a free group called Prosperous You and you're welcome to join that anytime. Um, we've got over a thousand members in it now. It's only a very new group and we're all in there supporting each other. So thank you so much for your time this evening. I hope you have a really beautiful rest of the night. Bye guys.